Hello, it's me again, Brett Hannebrink. Today we are going to talk about the advantages of MEMS timing devices. The four key areas we are going to focus on are vibration, stability, noise reduction, and load sensitivity. Let's first take a look at vibration. The mass of a MEMS resonator is about 1 1,000th one to 1 3,000th that of a quartz resonator. It depends on the particular quartz resonator blank. Since force equals mass times acceleration, the force resulting from a given acceleration will be 1 1,000th one to 1 3,000th for a MEMS resonator relative to a quartz resonator. This means that MEMS resonators are inherently less sensitive to shock and vibration than quartz resonators. This fact will be demonstrated on the next two slides, which will show phase noise and frequency shift due to vibration. This graph shows the phase noise comparison of a quartz resonator versus a MEMS resonator while subjected to a random vibration profile of 7.5 G RMS acceleration and vibration frequency 15 Hz to 2 kHz. Phase noise measures noise in the frequency domain and lower values are therefore better. As can be seen from the phase noise plot, the quartz plot in red shows about 20 dB increase in noise resulting from the random vibration across the frequency range of 15 Hz to 2 kHz as previously mentioned. By contrast, the MEMS oscillator plot in green shows no discernible increase in noise from the vibration. An increase in noise of 20 dB can result in lower data throughput due to increase in bit errors and worst case, dropped communication links. The above plot shows the oscillator response to a sinusoidal vibration profile of magnitude 4G from 15 Hz to 2 kHz in units of parts per billion frequency shift per G of acceleration. The MEMS has 3 to 100 times lower sensitivity to sinusoidal vibration than quartz based on oscillators, depending on vibration frequency and vendor as described previously. This is in large part due to the lower mass of the MEMS resonator relative to quartz resonators. Now let's take a look at stability under changes in temperature and airflow. The newest family of MEMS oscillators from SciTime, named Elite, has several architectural advantages over quartz resonators. Central to this architecture is the use of two MEMS resonators, the temp flat resonator and the temp sense resonator. The temp flat or TF has a relatively flat frequency versus temperature response and provides the reference frequency to the phase lock loop. Whereas the temp sense resonator has a fairly steep but linear frequency response of negative seven at degrees Celsius, which makes it a great temperature sensor. These two resonators share the same dye substrate, which is less than 200 micron separation, thus ensuring the best possible thermal coupling between them. This level of thermal coupling between the temperature sensor and resonator is not possible in quartz based on oscillators because of the physical separation between the quartz resonator and temperature sensor, which resides in the IC, containing the oscillator circuit. The dual MEMS along with the high bandwidth temperature to digital converter enables the best possible frequency stability in the presence of fast thermal transients, which often occurs when the oscillator is placed close to an ASIC or an SOC, which enters and exits sleep states. The next slide shows the contrast of the physical construction of all silicon oscillators based on MEMS technology and the construction of quartz oscillators. It further resonates the explanation of why Elite Dual MEMS technology is fundamentally superior to quartz oscillators with regards to thermal transients. The temperature sensor resides on the CMOS die for the quartz oscillators and is mounted onto the package substrate. Then connected to the package leads and crystal connections via bond wires. This physical separation between the temperature sensor and resonator causes significant thermal lag and therefore more frequency stability error during fast thermal transients. There is little that can be done to improve the thermal lag because the temperature sensor cannot be placed on the quartz resonator. This is a fundamental limitation of quartz oscillators. By contrast, the Elite family of SciTime MEMS oscillators have a dual resonator construction with the temp sense MEMS sharing the same dye substrate with the temp flat with 200 micron separation. With this close proximity and sharing the same dye substrate, the thermal coupling between the temperature sensor and resonator is very tight, resulting in a very small thermal lag. The dual resonator is stacked on top of the CMOS die, which contains CMOS circuit elements including sustaining amplifier, temperature to digital converter, and fractional PLL. The screenshot shown on this slide is an excerpt from a video showing side-by-side -side testing of one of the industry's best quartz TCXOs versus an Elite MEMS TCXO. 
In this screen capture, the frequency transient resulting from application of hot air from a heat gun is shown. The heat gun induces a very fast thermal transient of 86 degrees Celsius per minute as measured by a temperature sensor on the printed circuit board. The video and screen capture shows how the 50 PPB Quartz TCXO responds immediately to this thermal stress and deviates to negative 450 PPB, which is nine times the data sheet specification. By contrast, the MEMS frequency response is flat with small deviations less than or equal to three PPB. The air gun also has a secondary effect of inducing some vibration on the board. This outstanding MEMS performance is the result of the design and construction principles mentioned on the last two slides. Here we do an airflow test using a small PC fan blowing directly on top of the test fixture containing the Quartz TCXOs versus the Elite MEMS TCXO. In this test, turning on the fan lowers the temperature of the PCB and also induces some vibration on the board due to the high airflow. The temperature transient observed on the PCB was not as severe as in the heat gun experiment, but the Quartz TCXO nevertheless exceeded its datasheet specification with its 60 ppb frequency jump. MEMS resilience to various environmental stresses as observed in the video also yields benefits in telecom standard testing. Time deviation, or TDEV, is a measure by clock phase stability over a given time interval and the telecom standard GR-1244 specifies the maximum allowed TDEV for averaging times from 0.1 seconds to 100 seconds. The left graph in this slide shows TDEV under a still air condition and the right graph shows TDEV under airflow from the fan inside the oven chamber. Since TDEV is a measure by phase instability which causes clock wander, the lower numbers are better. Under airflow conditions, side time MEMS TCXO shows significant benefit up to 20 times better than Quartz TCXO. Maximum time interval error is another means of measuring clock wander performance, which complements TDEV from the previous slide. In this example, the performance of the Elite TCXO in the presence of airflow again exceeds that of a Quartz by a significant seven times the margin due to the reasons mentioned previously. Frequency slope is an important parameter, especially for IEEE 1588 applications when the maximum time error per node may be significantly less than one microsecond. Frequency transients due to temperature changes will be directly translated to time error between the synchronization update messages. The example given in the IEEE 1588 2008 standard page 191, a two degrees Celsius temperature change results in a two microsecond phase error, which exceeds the typical base station design spec of plus or minus 1.5 microseconds. One way to address this error is through software changes to increase messaging rates, which adds overhead and slows overall performance. The best choice is to simply use a better oscillator and a side time elite TCXO with a nominal slope of two PPB at degrees Celsius, which would induce only two nanoseconds of time error using the same example. Single digit PPB temperature slope enables the side time TCXOs to compete favorably versus single oven OCXOs in some IEEE 1588 applications. It should also be noted that frequency slope is not usually specified only for the best TCXOs on the market, such as the Raycon RPT 7050, which has a temperature slope of 20 PPB, 100 PPB degrees Celsius. When it comes to noise reduction, you can expect to see MEMS outperforming quartz. This plot shows power supply noise sensitivity and units of PSMV and lower numbers therefore mean better performance. In this test, a 50 millivolt sine wave is AC coupled onto the voltage supply pin and the jitter resulting from the 50 millivolt sine wave is measured at the clock output. As can be seen on the graph, the Elite's SIT9365 differential XO had superior informants to all the competition, up to two or three times better. Power supply noise immunity is a very important characteristic because systems are becoming noisier with smaller form factors and increased integration. It does no good to purchase the oscillator with the best jitter performance under lab conditions, which is usually the basis of the datasheet specification if the oscillator is sensitive to the power supply noise and cannot maintain performance in a real system. The Elite MEMS oscillators were designed to perform to their datasheet specification in world systems and great care was taken to minimize power supply noise. The chip has six voltage regulators and on the most critical circuit blocks, up to two stages of voltage regulation were implemented. 
Finally, let's take a look at load sensitivity. Another parameter which can shift the oscillator circuit output frequency is the output load. The graph on this slide shows the frequency shift of varying 15 picofarad nominal load by plus or minus 10%. The Sidetime Elite oscillator had virtually no frequency shift because the resonator is completely isolated from the load by the PLL and output driver. In quartz-based oscillators, which do not use PLL technology, the frequency shift resulting from load variation is greater. In conclusion, there are four key performance elements to timing devices. Vibration, stability, noise reduction, and sensitivity. When comparing MEMS devices to quartz, MEMS will always be on top. Thank you for watching.